Monday, wind gusts of over 100 miles an hour, a category to hurricane equivalency, blew through parts of the Midwest and there was significant damage in Iowa. News outlets are covering this as a weather anomaly and not the humanitarian crisis that it is. At one point, nearly 100,000 Iowans were without power. Trees were uprooted and snapped in half and homes were damaged and destroyed. As you can see, there's not a lot of trees left. There's parts of trees. Today, Joni Ernst and Chuck Grassley came to town to meet with Donald Trump. Um, so our tax dollars flew Donald Trump in. Our tax dollars paid for Joni Ernst and Chuck Grassley to come to the area again, not to help because they never come to help. They just come for photo ops with Donald Trump or for their own personal campaigns. Joni? Uh, I'm here in Cedar Rapids and I still have a tree on my house and I have been without electricity for nine days and counting. And if you see behind me, that is my work. That's where I work. And the fact that um, you are just showing up for photo ops. Where's our help? I mean, we need help. I'm an individual. I'm a constituent. I need your help. Where are you? My daughter and I, um, we living across the street here at this house, um, watched from our basement window um, our neighbor's tree get pulled from the roots and landed on top of their car. There are wires on top of the house. Um, this is uh, actually nothing compared to some of the damage that my um, friends and family have endured, losing their roof along with their house and of course the building that I work with uh, seems um, like they don't have a wall anymore and cannot go back for a while. Hi I'm Angie and I'm devastated what's happened to my town. Can you hear that generator outside the window? That's all it is generator after generator. Of course I don't have a generator. A lot of poor people don't have generators. We have messes outside every street, every house, cars have been totaled. We need help in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. It's been 11 days, still have no power. And 15 to 20 of my big, beautiful trees are gone. And the insurance won't pay to uh, help me remove them. We need individual disaster relief now. This is, uh small neighborhood on the northwest side of Cedar Rapids. They've been without power now for nine days. And you can see that as we drive down the street, it's almost like a tunnel of tree debris. Um, so these folks are gonna need significant help. <laughs> 